I'm going to tell you guys something that is purely based facts. And if you guys are wondering what LVW means, it is low value women. I've actually never seen somebody else use that, but I'm using it right now. <laughs> um, when it comes to lower value women, what you're going to understand as a man of value, and you don't always know which women are valuable and are not straight out the gate. I mean, you're going to get to know pretty quickly, but not instantly. And what you're going to notice is when you deal with these lower tier women, and some of them can be good looking, bro. That's the thing. It's just internally, they're low value. They're immature. Like, when you deal with them, these lower tier women hate and I mean hate feeling any amount of pressure. They just think they should feel perfect all the time. They shouldn't feel pressure if they're meeting some attractive guy. They, they just think they have to be the one that's like more and like bossy and just like stuck in her ways because she feels this way because she doesn't know how to act. She cannot act like a lady. So when this happens and she understands that a man of value is right in front of her and she has to be pretty precise if she's going to have success with this guy, she's going to not do anything. She's not going to show up. She's not going to meet you in real life. What she's going to do is resort back to lower tier men to validate her immature behavior. And she's going to resort back to her lower tier friends to validate her immature behavior because she's immature. She's not mature. She does not even qualify for a high value dude who checks off a lot of boxes because as a woman, she doesn't check off a lot of boxes. She might be hot, but that's about all she got. And by the time she gets older, She's going to turn to mildew and she ain't going to have any value. It sounds harsh, but it's just the truth. It's like, I don't know what else to say. This is how it goes. And these women are super stubborn, bro. These lower tier women, they're super stubborn, super stuck in their ways. They think everything has to go their way. They don't even see themselves as low tier. They think they're good because they have so many people who are low tier around them validating their existence. But when they meet the man, that all comes crumbling down. The bro, these women live in a distorted reality completely. There's also guys who are low tier bottom feeders who live in that same distorted reality. Like if they come around a guy who's got it going, they instantly feel threatened, insecure, and just like mad almost because you disrupt their distorted reality of them doing absolutely nothing significant or important with their life. Their distorted reality comes crashing down quick. It's like that with these women. It's like this with these guys out there that ain't got shit going. They will be haters of yours. They don't respect success. They don't pay attention to knowing who's successful. They have bottom tier friends doing bottom tier shit. Brokies that ain't got a pot to piss in. And it's the same as these females. They're the, they're the party girls. And the sad part is... <clears throat> You see some of these girls that are very good looking with like lots of potential, but they're never going to live up to it. And they're not going to be that girl that you know she could be because she wants to keep living in that distorted reality and continue to be surrounded by lower tier people who's going to validate that immature behavior and never come through. This is how it goes, man. So, as a man, you can't be stunted. You can't, you can't think 
something is wrong with yourself in these situations because you know you did everything right. You know you gave her the opportunity. Like, there's nothing more you could have done. But they're going to try <clears throat> to make you chase them down to their low-life reality. And if you keep going down there, bro, it's going to turn bad. You can't do it. You have to. That's where it stops. Because she can't come up with you, bro. She can't come up with you, and you clearly can't go down with her. Like, it's just not going to happen. You're worlds apart. Worlds. Levels and levels and levels and levels apart. Like... <clears throat> it's never gonna work. It's not even gonna. It's not even gonna be close. Like, I don't even think it would work if they got dedicated for the next two or three years of their life and and did everything perfect. Like, you probably still wouldn't be close. That's how far off they are. And sometimes it sucks, bro, because it's like, damn, what could have been. Sometimes you can even have like chemistry with some of these girls, but like natural chemistry as humans, it's like, damn, I know we could be this, but it will never be that because of her own actions and decisions in her life. What she decided to do and what she decided not to do. Like it's even true with friends, bro. Like I had friends and I see myself being friends with these guys forever and it just, it, it didn't happen. Like, realistically, we were friends for probably three years, like three to four years tops. And my reality kept changing for the better and they're just going down, 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 not caring. Living in a distorted reality, not ambitious, not courageous men. They just keep being bottom feeders, doing bottom feeder shit. As you continue to rise, as you continue to be ambitious and do the things you're supposed to be doing as a young man to build yourself up, they weren't doing it. So it's like they're down there and you're going up. So they become low tier men. You become a high value dude because of what you've done and what you did not do. And these are people, bro, that you probably used to see a future with. Even some of these girls, it's like you could see a vision with them. But it ain't never going to happen. It's just not going to happen. Like, they're never going to live up to it. They can't even show up on a date, bro. Because they're embarrassed of who they are. And they know the pressure's going to get to them, bro. These lower value women hate. I mean, hate feeling pressure because that's real life they feel pressure because of who they're involved with they could hang out with some other person they could hang out with their friends and not feel pressure but when it comes to yourself they're gonna feel pressure because it's you like there's other low 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 tier dudes you might get around on a daily basis like not hanging out with them but just like around anywheres like wherever publicly you go to they feel pressure when you come around they feel like mm, the lines in the building they feel that pressure from yourself and um that's because of how you carry yourself that's because of all the work you've done and who you've become and it's where you've built your confidence to be at and they just have not so it's like oh my god like it's just this big shock as soon as you're in these people's presence. Same as these females, same as these guys. It's the exact same thing. That's why she is never gonna show up, bro. If you guys were ever dealing with a female and they just won't show up, they just won't meet you and stuff like this, bro, this is what it is. It's a low value woman. She's not ready for the real shit. They can even like you, but it's like, they kind of like you, but they kind of hate you. They know that you're going to demand, like, you're not going to accept their immature behavior. That That's what it is. You're going to demand that they're a, a more mature human being. You're not going to accept their immature behavior and definitely not validate it. Like, they know that's going to happen, so <laughs> they're not going to meet you. It's going to come crashing down. 
and they're gonna have to go their way. You're gonna have to go yours. You're gonna have to find better. They're gonna have to find less. And as time goes on, this in itself is gonna start to eat them up. It's gonna eat them up. And at the end of the day, you, my friend, are gonna end up with something far better than that. We've all had a plan before. We've all been involved with people before. And it's going to fall through if God wants it to fall through because they're never going to be the person that you were viewing them that they could be. They're never going to be that. Like, think about it. Your ex wasn't that. Your past friends didn't live up to it. It is what it is. You have to get, bro, even before you date, this is what I'm even starting to realize myself. You have to give yourself time to build yourself into the man you truly are. You need life momentum. You need to get your shit up. Like, if you're young right now and you have a long ways to go, you want to be an entrepreneur, you want to be this, you want to be that, go full force down your path, whatever you're doing. Make shit happen for yourself and just keep building, 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 and then get out there in the field. Don't even be on the field. I took years off being on the field, bro. And there were still things there. There were still women there. There was still opportunity there, but I didn't care. I just kind of took myself off the field, even though some things would throw themselves my way, because at the same time, <clears throat> when women can see and notice that you're not needy, you're not desperate, you're not trying to get them, it makes them want to get you. Because you're a guy that's hard to get. This screams value. This screams scarce. Because what is most guys in today's society trying to do? Smash everything around. Put in minimal effort and try to smash everything. So when you don't have that energy, hmm, you intrigue me. You're going you're gonna to hear those words from women. You intrigue me and stuff like this. They're fascinated. But as a man, this is what you want to do. Because when you build your value over time, over the years... <coughs> You're going to get to a point where there's going to be a massive amount of females right there. There's going to be lots that want you. You're not going to have to try extra hard to, to get shit going, to do some stuff. There's going to be females right there. They're going to want to see you. They're going to want to hang out with you. You might discourage some. You might let some down. Some's going to want commitment. And you're not. This is just reality. This is not even you or me or anyone trying to be a dick it's just reality like you can't what are you gonna do have 10 wives <laughs> like i don't know what else to tell you my eyes are bothering me tonight man i don't know what it is just my eyes i don't know but yeah you have to let certain situations go even if it's a baddie, even if it's an extremely attractive female on the outside, bro, her internals are not there. Her internals don't match. They can play it off. They can act that way. But at the end of the day, they're not that. They can't live up to it. And as you talk to them for even a little bit of time, you're going to start to realize this and you have to get the out of there. And just continue on. And you know what, bro? If somebody like that was that scared to lose you because they know how valuable you are, they're going to start to dig and claw and do whatever it takes to be able to get you. That would actually be a good sign because at least they're trying. They're trying to change. And that's going to make you want them more because it's like, look at this girl. She really likes me. She's really trying. She's really trying to change and all this stuff. So you could kind of give it a chance. But bro, most of these low tier women, they're not going to do that. They're going to do the opposite. They're going to be entitled. They're going to feel like they don't have to try. They're going to feel like, oh, screw it, and just not care. And resort back to lower tier men to validate their immature behavior, including their friends, so they feel like, it's okay. They're not messing up. This is who I am. Take it or leave it. But they're going to act the way they act. And to yourself, it's unacceptable. 
because you worked very hard to get yourself to where you're at. You deserve better. These women feel entitled to go and party and all this stuff, and you can do that, but you don't deserve monogamy from a man that has value if you still want to go out there during this time and party, shake your ass at the club, do a whole bunch of crazy shit. Like, it, it just, it doesn't align. It don't match. Like, you can't do both. But this is what a lot of little thoughties running around today, it's what they want. They want the high value dude, be able to act however they want, go partying, go clubbing, go tripping, vacationing. And if you don't let me do this, then you're controlling. You're just trying to control me. That's what they think. And it's delusional. So what are they going to do? They're going to stay single. They're going to do those things. They're going to get older. They're losing value. They're not becoming better women whatsoever. They're becoming a better child. Is what they're doing. Like they're not becoming a woman of value. They're not going to deserve you. She can't do nothing for you, bro. She can't do like it's it's going to be a burden on your life. Imagine taking care of something like that. And you're you're the man of the house and you have everything going and oh, look look at my girl. Would you be proud of that? Like, guys, this ain't even a question. Of course you would not be proud of that. Of course you would. That's, that's, <laughs> it'd be a bigger flex <coughs> to drive a Toyota Corolla. It'd be a bigger flex. No hate on Toyota Corollas, but like, <coughs> it'd be a bigger flex to just, I don't know, nothing. That would be a bigger flex, nothing. That's gonna ruin your value. No man wants to look like an idiot. No man wants a female who's gonna make him look like a clown. That's my girl. Oh, bro, look what she's doing. <laughs> look what she's doing. Oh, that's your girl, oh shit. I just smashed her last weekend. Oh. Nice. Nobody wants that. Screams low tier. Every man of value ain't gonna put up with it. Every man of value <coughs> is gonna want a female who's actually committed. Who knows how to be a lady, who knows how to act like a lady. It doesn't mean be some nicey nice woman and do all these traditional things to a perfectionist to a T. It doesn't necessarily mean that. You just have to know how to act like a lady. Uh, bro, honestly, most men today and, and stuff expect women to just cook, clean, all this stuff. Well, yes, definitely some, but I don't even care that much. I can clean it, bro. Last night I cleaned my whole damn house. Spit shine. Spit shined. The floors, everything, all the cupboards, I don't even mind. Like, I don't really care that much. Oh my God, I just need someone so they can clean my shit and cook and everything else. Not necessarily. I don't care that much. My processes are pretty simple. I don't need a maid. But yes, if you have a woman, she's gonna do some stuff and help you out like that, of course. But I just, there's other things as well. That's not the end all be all. I, I don't care. It's not what I'm thinking. When it comes to a female, I'm not like, oh my God, like, can she cook? Can she clean? Like, she's going to do that shit regardless. It's not what I'm thinking. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> but yeah, anyways, this is just uh, a, another video of some insight. And just be wary of this. Be, be mindful of this stuff, guys, because if there's women who's giving you a hard time when you're trying to make things easy, you're trying to get things going, I guarantee you, bro, she's a low tier female. I guarantee it. She's gonna play a game, she's gonna test you, she's gonna do this, she's gonna do that, she's gonna make up excuses, all this stuff, because she's low tier. She would be embarrassed to meet you in real life. She knows she's gonna trip and fall. She knows she's gonna trip over the white, the yellow line on the side of the road, in the middle of the road, I mean. She knows she's gonna do it. 
So he's going to fumble because you're a man who's on point. When she walks in, she's going to freeze because she don't know how to be. She don't know how to act because she didn't put in the work. They're not prepared. And you know why they're not prepared? Because they act retarded. They do dumb shit all the time. That's what they're used to doing. So they need to be around people who's also doing clown dumb shit all the time. And it don't mean you can't have fun and, and that's, yes, you can. You get someone over, bro, you meet up with a female, you're gonna have some fun, you're gonna let loose, you're gonna be crazy together and shit like that and have a good time, but it's like, <coughs> they just wanna be around more immature people and be that way 24 seven, never take nothing seriously. And it's just, it's not gonna align with your values as a man. These are females that gotta go. So like I said, guys, if you're putting pressure on a female, oh my God, pressure, you invited her over. Oh my God, all the pressure. Most women today that are younger feel pressure just from doing that. Or not even inviting her over, going somewhere else. It don't matter where it is. Most of them feel pressure because they're so used to being immature and having the people around them validate their immature behavior. So as soon as shit gets real, bruh, pay attention to how these women are acting and you will get all the answers you need. And with that being said, God willing, God bless. We'll see y'all at the top.